Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to work up the string s1 and s2 as the input. And if s1 is equal to s2 by swapping any of the two characters in s1, then we must print yes and else we must print no. They have also given note that s1 and s2 are not always equal. So now we'll take our test case. So here S1 is A, B, C, D. And S2 is A, D, C, B. So we can swap any two characters from this S1. So here S2 is A, D, C, B. So first characters and the third character are equal. So not need to swap these characters. Rather than that, we have the second and fourth characters to be different. So when we swap B and D and here they become equal, that is so after swapping s1 will become a so this b will be swapped will become a d c b so now this s1 is equal to s2 so we will print s as our output now we will take our another test case So here S1 is the skill rack. And S2 is this one. So you can see that these four characters are equal. and these two are equal so the first two index and this two index are not equal so let's try to swap so if we swap the first index that is k and s swapping so this two index it does not become equal and if you swap any other index also it will not be equal so we'll print no as our output now let us supplement our program first we'll get our input string s1 And then we'll get the string S2. And then we'll have a variable called as count equal to zero. And then we'll iterate over the characters in the string that is for CH in S1. So if the character of so here ch in range of len of s that is iterating over 
all the characters if s1 of the character is not equal to s2 of ch then we are going to increment the count by 1 and then we are going to check the number of occurrence of that particular character that is s1 dot count of s1 of ch if it is not equal to s2 dot count of s1 sorry s2 of ch then here also will print no as our output and use break and then in the else part if the count is less than 2 we are going to print yes as our out output so if the count is less than equal to 2 then we are going to print yes as our output else will print no as our output so first we are checking whether the characters are equal or not so if they are not equal then we are incrementing count by 1 and we are finding the number of occurrence of the character and if they are not equal means here itself we are printing no and we use break and then we check that whether count is less than or equal to 2 if it is true means we are going to print yes else will print no so now let us run our program with our first test case yes we have got the correct output now we will pass our another test case Here also we have got the correct output. Now we will pass our another test case. Here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.